Hi guys, Retro Django here. Few days ago, I made two part videos of this Commodore 128D. And on the video part two, I tried this um, 1541 Ultimate 2 disc tape cartridge emulator, music player, micro SD card reader and so much else. Else, This is just, this is an awesome product. But I had them, um, it runs perfect on my all my Commodore 64s. But when I put it in my Commodore 128D, it does not work. That's what I also showed on my last video. After that, I put it on a regular Commodore 128 disc job model and it didn't work. But you awesome guys on YouTube, you gave me a lot of um, hints what to do and all that. Some said I could, uh, it, it conflicts with the built-in disk drive here that um, it has to be disabled port 8 and different settings in here and all that. But one guy said, why don't you just try to boot up in Commodore 64 mode, you know, just by holding down the, the Commodore key here at startup and see what's gonna happen. And that's just so easy to check. So I will just check that with you guys. Oh, um, other than that, this keyboard, uh, it was, guys, it was just so filthy inside. It was filled with dust everywhere and it was just, it, the functions did not work. I mean, one, two, three did not work and it works perfect now. Um, the uh, return key did not work, so I could not load games and all that. The problem, I had to just smash it down. And the shift to, Four, two did not work and all that but now I have cleaned it and every key has been checked everything works uh, except this one this one and this one and that's because to be able to open this one you have to you have to unscrew all these small golden screws. That's the first part. Other than that, as you can see here, I have unsoldered these connectors here. They're not soldered on, as you can see here. Everything is off. So you have to desolder here, here, and here to be able to take off this board. And on the back side of the board, you have to clean it really well and also on the pads on these they also need to be, be cleaned oh look at the look at the screen guys <laughs> we're running so it, it's cleaned it's nice and it works perfect guys i love this one and the best part it smells great <laughs> all right so let's just put this one in here and make that quick test and see if it's possible to run it that way guys i will just put in the card and all that oh look at this it's just amazing how much different a uh, cleanup can do all right i just put in the 1541 and i'm gonna hold down the commodore button and turn on the computer here and see what's gonna happen with the ultimate put in It's the same guys. Um, okay, so I have to adjust something more because the 1541 Ultimate should work on a 128 also because um, <clears throat> people have been writing to me that they use it on their Commodore 128. So it's something with my, um, with my Ultimate that I have to adjust. So when I press the middle button, I enter this menu and you can see it over there. Uh, 1541 ultimate 2 but not the plus model I have the old model the plus model has built-in Ethernet and it's got um, <clears throat> plug and it's got the uh, instead of micro SD card reader I think it's got three USB slots I don't have it so I'm not sure 
It also has a built-in speaker, that's nice. Other than that, I'm not sure guys. I'm perfectly happy with the non plus model. I didn't um, I wasn't after buying it. I just got it when I bought You can see it in in one of my uh, haul videos when I bought some Amigas and all that. Then then that um, that 1541 Ultimate just came <laughs> uh, together with uh, CD32 and you know what, I will just put the link on the description down below so you can see that video how I got my Ultimate 1541. Um, but I love that card. It gives the Commodore 64 brand new life. But um, yeah, <clears throat> as of right now, I can't make it work on my 128D guys because I can enter the menu and um, <clears throat> what's... Well, um, I can, um, I can, you can, you, I can go into the music, and I can choose something, and I, when I say, play something, you know, this one, and I press here, and one more press, it should play the song, but when I press here, nothing happens, and when I press enter too many times. It just resets or reboots or something like that. Yeah, that's what it's that's what it done. It does, guys. So yeah, I have to check it out in the menu because it is something with the settings. I'm sure about that uh, because you can go. Oh, what did I do there? I press run stop, then does this again. <laughs> So if I go, I think it was Shift F1 or something like that. So in here you can choose cartridge and all that. And yeah, here, I think it's, what, what did, it was something with, I think one guy wrote to me I should CPU address valid after PHI280NS and something like uh, here again. I have to play with that one because uh, I want to make it work on the Commodore 128 and the Commodore 64. The, on the Commodore 64, it works perfect. So if you are familiar with this menu, please let me know how your is set up so um so i can do it the same way and use it on my commodore 128 because i i use both computers i say i, I think they're both just awesome <laughs> all right guys just a short video um but before we quit let's just load commando i'm just so happy with uh, with the cleanup of the of the keyboard also that it just works. If you look at my uh, videos for a couple of days ago with this Commodore 128D, I was so irritated. I couldn't use the return button. I couldn't use this shift button, but I just love when everything is just works the proper way. It got a little bit brighter in the colors also, but not that much, but it's okay, guys. So uh, let's just do this the old fashioned, you know, load. Oh, yes, and the drive has been cleaned, everything is just amazing, guys. Load Commando, actually it's one of my favorite games, oh, the return button, one of my favorite games on the Commodore 64. I played Commando and a game called Who Dares Wins 2, I played those games a lot, I was just a big fan of them until one day I was at an arcade and I saw in the early 90s I think it was called Merc it was just mind-blowing then my Commodore 64 was just <laughs> so old <laughs> and I jumped over to the Amiga 600 oh yes all right guys thank you for watching thank you for your time have a nice one you know what I'm gonna do now. <laughs> Bye!